guys can see, we have a rolled over truck and trailer fully loaded. The trailer is already compromised. All right, first casualty of the day. Dale, Roberto. Here it comes. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. As you guys can see, we have a rolled over truck and trailer fully loaded in the center divider. This is gonna be a big job. So let me give you the little uh, rundown and uh, we'll get to work. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, we have a truck and trailer on its side in the center divider loaded. This is loaded with 35,000 pounds of reefer product. It's a uh, prepackaged airline food to be exact. Um, so the initial thought here is obviously we have a loaded, fully loaded truck and trailer and we have some pretty nasty terrain. Um, the trailer is already compromised. As you guys can see, right about there, there's a couple cones. This truck went in between those cones, through the guardrail, down this embankment, basically full air time and ended up on its side right here. So it went for a really wild ride. Driver was completely okay. Matter of fact, talking to, uh, to Roberto, who was first on scene yesterday. Um, but as a result of this, uh, this collision, the trailer succumbed to its injuries and is compromised. Look at this idiot. This is gonna cause an accident. Oh, geez. That was scary. We're waiting on our lane closure. Hey, just watch out. That guy's going really slow. Watch out. Watch yourself. This guy's going really slow. Okay, so back to my story. Um, so the trailer is compromised. It basically picture um, like someone's back leaned over a rock. Like if I were to lay on my back and like roll, like lay it on this rock, like that's how the trailer looks. It has like a bow to it. And uh, with that being said, we've already contacted the company. The company actually contacted us directly to handle this recovery. And um, basically we're all on the same page that no matter what we do, this trailer is not gonna come out in one piece. Um, it's already compromised. So there's not really a whole lot of point in spending um, so much money, time, and resources to offload the product when one, it's already been deemed a complete loss. This is food grade product and it's, you know, deemed for use in the public, I guess is the best way to put it. So if it's compromised, the door's open, the reefer hasn't been running in over 12 hours now and it is a frozen load, there, there's no way this product's going to market. So product is completely deemed a total loss and then the trailer's compromised. So there's not really any point in trying to offload the product um, by hand, try to preserve the product, and then in the end, just to have the trailer rip open halfway up the hill here. So we're already in agreement with the company. Uh, what the plan here is that we are going to cut open the roof line of the trailer. We're gonna let the product spill out. We're gonna have a land clearing company that we deal with very closely called Emory Land Clearing. They're gonna come out here with, I believe, an excavator, a skid steer, and two roll-off bins. And they're gonna, like I said, cut open the trailer, remove the product, so that way the truck and trailer combo is empty. It's gonna be a lot easier for us to take this up the hill, and then the product will be properly disposed of because, like I said, it's a total loss. So that is the game plan. Obviously, in this industry and with this scenario, we call a lot of audibles, so that could change in like five minutes, but that is the game plan as of right now. Um, the land clearing company, Emory, will be here shortly, and I just want to get their second opinion on the working conditions here, because obviously you got some pretty steep banks here, and um, I just want to make sure that they're able to get their equipment down here and work safely and properly. So, um, like I said, that's the plan right now. I will update you guys if anything changes. But as of right now, uh, we are on scene with the 35 ton and then you guys can't see it, it's on the other side, but we got the uh, 35 SP, which is the side puller 35 ton. We have the rotator and Mark is here with a flatbed with just some support equipment, um, ice chest full of water, uh, sawzalls, 
cut off wheels, um, chop saw, extra lumber, anything, extra straps, just anything we might need. So, uh, hey, precise services. Nice truck. Anyway, um, that's the plan. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This one is definitely going to be one for the books. It's going to be an interesting one uh, and a challenge. Um, another side note, my dad is out of town. He is enjoying, uh, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't even call it semi-retired life, but he's taking more time for himself. Good for him. He deserves it. He's been doing this for since basically my age, um, just like I am. So he's been working his tail off, uh, getting the company where it's at today. So um, he's enjoying himself. He is in Idaho, just you know, enjoying life. So um, Darl and myself are here making this happen. We're gonna we're gonna get it done. So that is where my dad is. If you guys are asking, so um, let's get it. Let's get it done. Back in the day, our ancestors traveled across this land and they stumbled upon the city of Coachella and they found that. What the dog doing? What are your thoughts? <laughs> the driver said that the other semi had hit him off the freeway. It's like ran him off the road? Ran him off the road, yes. And then he went down that? Down right there where that guard road that yeah. Jeez. Wild ride. And he was okay? He was walking around and talking? Yeah, he was walking around, yeah. Jeez. Yep. That's pretty impressive. Big caging bolts? Oh, does this have the big cans? Yeah. Uh, no. No. Back ones. Uh, if this thing's empty, I wouldn't even try to set the uh, release the brakes. I'd just bring it up, brake set. I mean, that way you don't run any risk of it rolling down the hill. I mean, if it's empty, we'll bring it up with the brake set. It'll come up. So what are our thoughts on truck placement? Obviously we got three trucks at our disposal. One, two, three, four. Um, well, if we get off loaded, then we'll set the... I'd probably put the rotator on the trailer so we could get a lot of height on it. Keep kind of keep that up and we can kind of guide it and then put uh, one one of your wreckers here and one of them there. All right, now it's a party. We got a uh, excavator, steel track excavator. I think it's a 312, he said. Older one, but yeah, 312 and then a uh, 299D skid steer with a grapple bucket. Um, this company, now that I think about it, because I mentioned it in a previous video, this is the company we sold the Cascadia to. So they own our Cascadia. Closure just showed up. It's not very often you get to uh, run down the freeway, but that's what I'm doing. We got a traffic break, getting all the equipment over from the shoulder into our uh, closure here. So I'm running. I would not want to be him right now. You guys aren't aware, steel track machines and steel decks just do not react well with each other. Especially with the incline and a slight walk. Uh, he's got a slight slope facing me, so to his driver's side. So that's why he's gonna put his bucket down and support himself in case he wants to get sideways. And he's also gonna account for that the buck that he's gonna get right now. You can see he's trying to walk the machine back over to the passenger side. There it goes. Woo. Not too bad. Ugh. See like how much uh, see how much uh, track has has actual grip on the steel deck. How much doesn't have grip it's, it's catching. Kind of similar to taking one over the back on the Kozad. So he's gonna start tracking down the hill here and uh, rip open the top of that, that trailer and get going. 
All right, first casualty of the day. I just slipped and cut my shorts open, or my pants open. All right, here he comes. I love hydraulics. Hydraulics are cool. That's not too bad. So I can kind of, I kind of have an idea of what he's doing. So he's. It, look, it appears like he's tackling the slope at an angle with his uh, track, but he's keeping his counterweight perpendicular to the road. That was cool. Crossed over that bank. Pretty ugly terrain. Rocky. Yeah, take it. So what he's gonna attempt to do is just kind of grab the the roof, uh, the I guess the bottom side of the trailer at this point, and just kind of try to roll it this way a little bit, get some product to fall out without um, puncturing the the uh, top roof line. Hang on, Jim. Well, uh, I just it seems like it's gonna. Yeah. Seems like it's gonna put it in a pretty good bind. A little bit of an update, we're getting there. All right, so the plan is, now that the trailer is pretty much offloaded, we left a little bit of uh, product in the nose and a little bit in the tail. And the reason that we're doing that is to, since the roof line's gone, there's not a whole lot of structure uh, keeping the two walls from collapsing as we run a strap around, around it. So we're leaving a little bit of product there to basically take up that air gap. As we cinch up the straps, it'll kind of hold the walls from caving in completely. So we're gonna attempt to get a strap around the nose of the trailer, strap around the tail of the trailer, and a pull line on the steer tires probably have Roberto hooked up to at least the steer tires and then based on the angles we might have the rotator or the 35 ton hooked here and definitely the rotator hooked on the tail so uh, I think Mark's trying to dig out a spot down there so I'm gonna go ahead and check that out and we'll, uh, we'll yeah we'll get to work here oh and it doesn't matter how much money you spend or what kind of truck you buy and whatever brand it is they are all junk that thing just went into d-rate <sighs> always a D def problem with the new trucks junk junk all right we got steel rims up here so that's what i'm going to use highest point's going to give us the most amount of leverage yeah i think we really that one yesterday i know that was easy yep all right bring your other cable down right here all right, so we're gonna hook this cable in to that chain, kind of put a little pressure on it, see if we can walk the strap under it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let me get everything set up. Yep. I'm gonna go on that side. Oh, the pull through? Yeah. Okay. And la pura esquina, Mark. Well, it's gonna slide over a little bit. Once we put pressure, I kind of wanted to go at least, we don't want it right, I don't want it to slide yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But I wanted to stay more, but not too far, because it'll collapse. But here, let me uh, put the chain and see how far we can pull that. that way. Okay, here. I got it, Mark. I'll hand the chain to you. Well, we're going to go, we've got to wrap it around this frame. So we're... Right. Do we want to go back a little bit? We can go back a little bit. Because then you don't have much meat in the front. Not right there. That's... Okay. Here, pull a little bit more. Me? Okay, there you go. Me? No, no, you no, no, stay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. That's that. And then where's those shackles? Um, they should. They were one right. They were right there. Where are the web sling shackles you brought down here, Roberto? Well, one is over there by the right. Oh, there's right, 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 right under this Because we'll, we'll probably 
probably end up doing is taking this line and moving it maybe to the landing gear or something to help pull this whole unit up. We have two of these? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I need one on top and then one on the other corner, on the bottom. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to move this line out of the way. I'll get the truck out of the way, and then I'll pull the rotator kind of right in there. Okay. We'll put one, the one line on this strap, and then we'll put one more strap on the tail. Okay, let's well, flex a little bit. What's that? So who's panting like a dog? Uh huh. I thought it was you. Ah. <laughs>
Cable up higher because you're going to help the tractor come over. No, just the, use the one that's right there. The one that's already hooked up? Yeah, we need to go higher with it to help it over. Remember Rimsley? You got Rimsley? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Hey. You want a front mark? I'll take back. Yeah, don't lose my shovel. The key is this the trailer, this corner. Yeah. Yep. That's going to be a nickel. we got to have even pressure on the back. This back strap, okay? I'm pulling yep. on a little bit. I just. Yep. I just get as high as you can. Oh. They're going to be okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just lost our mud flood, so. Mijo, what are we doing? We're talking to you. All right. Dale, dale, dale. Head up. Move okay. with him. So, hey, okay. guys. Okay, let's just hold. All right. So, this is what's going to happen. Roberto, I'm going to bring the trailer over. Obviously, you're just following. You want to keep the tractor ahead of me to help the nose of the trailer come over. So, you want to be able to pull on that, but you don't want to pull on it too fast because we don't want to drag it up the hill. We want to upright it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just kind of stay ahead of me a little bit, but don't stay ahead of me too much to where you're pulling it all up the hill, okay? Yeah, right. we're kind of on the corner of the trailer, kind right. of on the lip of the roof line, but I don't think it'll cut it. I think it'll be yeah. all right. There you go. All right, I'm going to try to get this back coming over a little. There, there we go. El que sabe, sabe. You check it right up there? Yeah, I'm watching it. It looks uh, really good. We just blew a tire. I'm doing my controls, I'm not doing the remote, so... Okay, cool. Dale, Roberto. Here it comes. I'm almost to espérate, the ground. Espérate, espérate, espérate. Okay. Let him catch up. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, mine is down. My front end is down. Okay. Uh, no, you're on your own, mijo. Okay. Let's make sure you got pressure on it. Okay, the front's going to be over. I'm going to kind of... Here, swing this. That's got to go up, but yeah, that's fine. Well, we got we got to hold it right there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So I would say we should probably have Jim uh, grab that bottom bottom uh, edge of the trailer and bring it bring it over. Well, John's in there right now. Okay. Yeah, but it's gonna be fighting with you. Are you gonna let slack the ear and keep that up there? Um. I probably. I think it'd be best if I hold on to the nose, but leave That's the what I'm saying. Yeah. Hold the nose and let the, yeah, and let the, the trailer of the go. The trailer, the, the front, this one, this cable here, trend is where you're gonna hang on to it. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what we have on the wheel, we gotta take that off. Okay, that's fine. Let's yeah, re-ring. Let's re-ring. Re I'll hold it here. Okay. And we're gonna hook up to the hook down here in the front. It's gonna swing it really fast if mm -hmm. we pull on it. Yeah, right. but turn that hook over. Turn the hook over. I only, down, have, I only have a thousand pounds. Face down. Rotate that hook, my folks. I think we should, like I said, maybe think about putting Roberto's second cable on the nose of the trailer so we can bring the trailer. Yeah, Let's you can put the, the, chain, the chains underneath the trailer. You know how we usually like winch them sometimes from the slots? Yeah, yeah. That way he can pull the trailer up the hill because all I'm doing is supporting it. I was Marquez. I mean, I'm down to pull on the trailer pretty hard, but I just need someone to watch it because I don't want to pull it too hard, you know. So, Mark, I, I mean, my dog literally, I mean, we can bring it straight up. I don't want to go the long way. I think we have a truck here in support to do it. We can uh, we can run this drag winch out to the trailer, too, and just bring it right up. All right, go ahead, Roberto. I'm just going to kind of hold on and see what happens here. It's coming around really nice. Keep it going. Okay. 
I'm just gonna give everything a little tug on my end. Go ahead and give your uh, trailer nose a little snugger, bro. Just kind of keep it snug. Yeah, because your hood, hang on one second, guys. Stop one second. Your front, what? The front, my fucking front, my fucking front. Your front trap on the frame rail transfer, and your turn, rotate the truck, the front trap taken. Uh oh, okay. Taken weight. When it came over, it was there. No, no, no. It's hooked to the frame rail. I trusted we're turning the truck. It's changing the weight. 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 You're gonna have to give a little bit on the front strap trying to these tournaments. Well, is it gonna tear the shit out of the strap or can we just re-rig it to the to the trailer point? Just give us a little bit to slide it up and turn it over that truck around. Well, those containers hook to the frame of the track, not the trailer. Do you understand what we're trying to say there? Yeah. Wouldn't we rather want to be to the trailer though? Because by the time this truck comes up, it's gonna be at a 45 to the trailer. So we should probably re-rig it. I think we should. So. Okay, you're on the trailer now. Alright. Alright, Roberto, go ahead. Same okay. thing we were doing, just working the nose around. Okay. Is Dora ready? Yeah. He's on the phone. We're good though. Mark's got it. Okay, alright. Your DOT bar is kind of hung on the. Yeah, it'll come right. around. Yeah, no, you're fine. Keep well, you want to keep bringing it around? Keep the, the trailer come in? Yeah. Bring the tractor in just slightly on the trailer. You yeah. want to start working on getting uh, the tractor to you. Pulling it back a little bit. Yeah. Lifting. Okay. The spade's not even in the ground. Well, yeah, that, that one didn't want to... It was going to put on my truck over, so I didn't stick it in there. Go ahead and work on both. Roberto. Kind of slowly bring the truck around, you bring the trailer to there you go. Coming around. Uh, pulling my truck back. Is it? Uh, yeah. It's sinking it down. Well, I mean, that's, you're, you need yeah. to plant. Is your winch, winch brake set? set? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's going to plant. Going. Okay. Keep going. When you start, when you start dropping off the hill, then let us know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting slack on your thing, Nico. Yeah, that's a long way from rolling over. But yeah. We're good, we're good. No, you're fine. We're good. Is that GOT bar going to drop off, or what's it going to no, do? No, it's off. It is. You're clear. You're clear. We're going to more track than the same trailer. Okay. Okay, there you go. Now go ahead and take a moment. All right. Uh, go ahead and stop for a second for me. Uh, I think we need to think about rigging Roberto's uh, trailer line either back further or put a different truck onto it because it's going to get into the cab here. Well, I mean... We kind of need to. <laughs> we got a long ways to go. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, Roberto, go ahead and take it. How we roll, baby? Mark, how, how hard can I pull on the nose? Uh, we don't really have to, but we can. I mean, we're really. It's coming out. Everything's good. I'm, I'm going to let, let that, uh, the back end of the trailer just kind of lag. Yeah, I'm going to let it lag. Just make sure we're far from it. Uh, right you, you're worried about a bush? Well, no, I'm just asking. Are you trying to say that? No, they're, they're not. Okay, hold, Robert. Okay. I'm going to have to rotate here. Get in position. Yeah, your line on the front of the trailer trailer is Yep. 
Okay, well, if I'm going to drop the white, then I'm going to put it on the back down here. And that way I can hold the, because obviously if you if you pull the trailer with just that line without the top support, it's going to want to roll back over. But if I have that top support and there, I can bring it up. See, that's, that's the problem, though, that we're going to run into right now, is if we angle Roberto where he's at, it's just going to pull it down into this hole right here. That's why I think we need to get something on the drives to help it come up this way. Whether that's on Carl's trucks or whatever. But we need to get it coming this way. I'll let you take the trailer. You doing good, Trent? Sorry, I was um, I mean, I don't really like the angles that I'm getting right here. I don't really think I'm... You. Uh, let's keep going. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna just deal with the blue. I'm gonna let the white be not doing much. I can hold on to it a little bit. Trying to come, I'm trying to come with you. Yeah, once I get it moving, then you can start moving it. It seems like it's working easier. Alright, Roberto, are you on the controls? Yep. Alright. Keep it calm. Just keep it tight. Yeah. You ready, Trent? Yep. Yeah. Man handling it. Love it. Come on, baby. Don't let me get picked by a radio show. Bring a little more. Huh? Ah, that's target ship. That truck, I don't really like that, but fine. Fine, idle, though. Oh, hey, grip those shackles. Can I pull pretty good on that uh, strap part to get it kind of level? Transition to just that. You can park it right there for me, please. <laughs> so I can be on my way. I got it. Let me get my blue going. Hey, sir, this is a valid parking. 
This is uh, taking parallel parking to a new level. <laughs> you good, sir? Uh, Don't pull the blight in here. Go ahead and uh, just pull as far as you can. I'll hold it here for a second. Where you want? A little different than uh, you and my grandpa would have done it. Okay, we hooked that right one and hooked on the back. Try to bring the whole. Uh, you good right there? Yeah, that's good, Roberto. Let's see what, what kind of damage we're getting here. I can pull on that pretty good, I would think. What do you say? I'm going to it over. Watch, though. What are you doing? Bring it to you. Oh. Did white down some? There you go. Right blue? No, it's planning. I go up on white a little. I'm watching it. Your truck is too loud, Darrell. Turn, I bring white down and blue up. Right in this area here, we'll just set up right next to it, lift it back yeah. yonder. So we'll probably put this up and put Roberto as far over as we can. We can always set the front end, or we can always pick it and then, you know, pick it and set it out here so we have enough room. That's good. Huh? You know good? Yep, yeah, go. Gonna set down to the freeway. I wouldn't be sitting right there by the trailer just in case. Yeah, hang on, hang on. We're gonna get catch that chain out of the way. Then. Put the chain under the tire. Watch yours, cause you don't got headset. You yeah. know we're on the other side. Yeah. Just go slow. Keep going. If something bad is gonna happen. It would have happened. It's settling. Uh, to me. You're good. You're good, right? I, yeah. I've seen it settle. Oh. You're clear. Go ahead and okay. pull. You're out.
Let's try to close the hood. Go. No. Okay, so are we gonna have to use the, the covers? Probably, huh? He's got those uh, covers that go right here. Oh, yeah. I think we're gonna have to. Does that have brakes on it? Like actual brakes? Yeah. Okay. Alright, um, yeah, turn it, turn it, uh, keep going that way, Jorge, if you can. No mas. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm coming down. Junk man, this thing says 40% D rate. <laughs> ah, he got it. God damn it. <laughs> How convenient. You have no problem working without gloves. What are you talking about? Dirty man. Slack first, in. Come in. Come in a bit. There you go. I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It'll settle. <laughs> You're so nasty, though. <laughs> Such a nasty boy. You're so puccino. <laughs> uh oh. Hello. I don't think so. I mean, if we're really worried about it, we can throw a strap around right here. Uh, if we can find somewhere to do it. We could put a strap around here and it's low, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Everybody, Emery is gonna finish doing what they're doing, but as far as I'm concerned, we're done. We're out of here. So let's go ahead and get this derated truck on the road. Um, all right, let's get back to the yard. I'll give you guys a formal close out once we get there. That's some scene domination right there. 